evening and welcome to the 124th birthday celebration of PTA. My name is Kim Gariosi. I am a past president of the John Street School PTA and I am honored to be your host for tonight's ceremony. The National Parent Teacher Association was organized on February 17, 1897. The Franklin Square PTAs use this evening as an opportunity to honor those who have contributed to the PTA by presenting them with awards in appreciation of their achievements. All four schools come together on Founders Day to unify that our foundation is one and the same. We all share a strong commitment to our family, our community, and our schools. We acknowledge the award recipients for their hard work and advocacy for children. Now, we would like to ask you to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and our national anthem which will be performed by Kayla Iacono. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fights or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. Thank you, Kayla. That was outstanding. At this time, I would like to invite the John Street School principal, Mr. Thomas Riccobono, to give us a welcome greeting. Good evening. And on behalf of the John Street School faculty, staff, and parents, welcome to the 124th birthday of the PTA. Tonight's Founders Day will be unlike any other that we've celebrated in the past as we present a virtual ceremony in the time of COVID and a global pandemic. With that being said, I'd like to ask everyone to please join me in a moment of silence to honor those in our family or our friends and all those in our community who we've lost since our last birthday celebration. Thank you. Tonight, we gather with fellow colleagues, families, and friends to honor and celebrate members of the Franklin Square School community who have demonstrated a commitment to service and excellence for the benefit of our children. They've all accomplished things that have taken us somewhere over the rainbow, whether it was using their knowledge to reimagine a school-wide event, creating memorable moments with a little extra heart and dedication, or the courage to try a new idea during challenging times. They've all contributed something to make each school feel like there's no place like home. On behalf of our children, I thank you for sharing your volunteerism, goodwill, inclusiveness, and fostering a culture of accomplishment, the cornerstones of our PTA. Congratulations to all of our honorees who continue to inspire us each and every day. Enjoy the evening. 
Thank you, Mr. Riccobono, for your welcome speech. And most of all, thank you for your support of the PTA. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Jared Bloom, Superintendent of Schools for the Franklin Square Union Free School District to deliver tonight's invocation. Good evening. As a child, The Wizard of Oz was my go-to movie. In fact, to this day, my mother refuses to watch it in light of the number of times that I watched and rewatched this epic movie. So you can imagine how pleased I was to learn this year's theme was somewhere over the rainbow. Now, it's also quite apropos as we continue to look beyond the rainbow to better days ahead. Now, before I begin with a few words of wisdom from The Wizard of Oz, I'd like to take a moment of silence to honor all those who we have lost in our community and school district family this year. Thank you. Now, now a walk down memory lane as we revisit a few of the most famous lines and words of wisdom from The Wizard of Oz. Let's start with one of Dorothy's most famous lines. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Many of us wake up every day wondering when we're going to get back to the proverbial Kansas, but what grounds us are the people that continue to give of their time, even when the work is more challenging and virtual. And then, of course, there is the wizard's words of wisdom to the Tin Man. Little friend, that a heart is not judged by how much you love, but by how much you are loved by others. <sighs> we love our PTAs, what they represent, and all that they provide. And finally, the most famous song. As we dream of better days ahead in 2021, we are all searching for the end of that rainbow. Leading the charge is our PTA leaders and PTA members who make our school districts like home. And oh PTA, there is no place like home. There is no place like home. There is no place like home. Thank you again to all of our PTA heroes. Have a great night. Thank you, Dr. Bloom, for honoring us and delivering this evening's invocation. Now I am happy to introduce you to our current John Street School PTA president, Barbara Rolden. Thank you, Kim. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining the celebration of the PTA's 124th birthday. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all the honorees. Your commitment and hard work does not go unnoticed. The PTA cannot survive without the support of our members and those like yourselves who give selflessly to help our children. It is my pleasure now to recognize some of our distinguished members, our principals and assistant principals. Principal at H. Frank Harry, Mr. Christopher Fiore. Assistant principal at H. Frank Harry, Ms. Sharon Flynn. Assistant principal at H. Frank Harry, Mr. Christopher Komodi. Principal at Washington Street School, Mr. John Stella. Assistant Principal at Washington Street School, Mr. Dominic Gabo. Principal at John Street School, Mr. Thomas Riccobono. Assistant Principal at John Street School, Mr. Jung Lee. Principal at Polk Street School, Mr. Gil Torosian. And Assistant Principal at Polk Street School, Mr. John Trotta. Our current PTA presidents, Co-presidents at H. Frank Harry, Mrs. Joanne Schwartz and Teresa O'Day. Co-presidents at Washington Street School, Mrs. Shannon Perota and Mrs. Melissa Verzi. President at John Street School, Mrs. Barbara Roldan. Co-presidents at Polk Street School, Mrs. Christy Bornjamie and Mrs. Kristen Sorodi. Into school president, Mrs. Joanne Schwartz. There are so many people who contributed their time and talents to make this event possible. I would like to take the opportunity to thank them. The John Street School PTA Executive Committee for their continued support and for helping with preparation and execution. 
In particular, a special thanks to Joanna Ng and Kimberly Altaro for their time and effort. Kayla and Gabriella for sharing their talents with us tonight. PRI Communications for their generous donation to help make this event a success. And finally, we would like to thank Mr. Lee and Mr. Riccobono for all their support in helping us plan and execute our Founders Day celebration. We chose this year's theme as an acknowledgement of the hardships endured by our community this past year. We've experienced loss, grief, and many challenges, but we are finding ways to get through them together. And somewhere over the rainbow represents that hope, hope that someday soon we will be able to overcome them. Now, I would like to introduce Gabriella Fiducia singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. that amazing performance. We are happy to be here tonight to celebrate the birthday of the PTA. The PTA could not operate without the hard work and sacrifices of the PTA members. There is a lot of responsibility and everyone's hard work provides the amazing experiences that our students and families get to enjoy. We are pleased to have some of our amazing past PTA presidents watching tonight. Let's honor these tireless advocates for all their hard work which has enabled PTA to continue and be celebrated tonight. We will now begin our candle ceremony. It has been a tradition at the Founders Day celebration that our superintendents and principals honor the spirit of the evening by making a birthday wish to the PTA. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Jared Bloom to begin our candle lighting ceremony by making the first wish for our PTA. There is a famous African proverb that goes something like this. If you wanna go quickly, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. Our wish this year is that the PTA continues to help us to go far 
as we navigate the many challenges of this pandemic. With our PTA's help and support, we will continue to provide our students with the opportunities that will help make their experiences meaningful, educational, enriching, and rewarding. Happy birthday, PTA. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Pam Taylor to make the next wish. Good evening. Somewhere Over the Rainbow has been a favorite song since my childhood because it sends a message of hope. Within these very uncertain times, the labor of love of our PTA sends us a message of love and hope as well. Thank you, PTA, for your enduring support, involvement, and interest in our students and overall learning community. Happy 124th birthday. I invite Dr. James Grassani to make the next wish. I'd like to wish the PTA of Franklin Square a happy 124th birthday. Founders Day is such a very special event because we get to thank you for all that you do for our students every day, year after year. So Franklin Square, thank you all so much. And my wish for you is many, many more years of success in our district on behalf of our students. Thank you. And now I invite Mr. Tarosian to come up to make his wish. Thank you. Good evening, Franklin Square. My birthday wish is in the spirit of our major characters from the play The Wizard of Oz, uh, wishing courage during these complex times, growth of knowledge for our children, giving of heart for our children and our entire school community every single day, and of course, a dedication to home that is Franklin Square. Congratulations on 124th birthday, PTA. It is now my pleasure to turn this over to Mr. Stella for his birthday wish. My birthday wish for the PTA is that somewhere over the rainbow, we can find classrooms with no shields, kids with no masks, and no longer socially distanced. I know that with your support and Dr. Bloom's leadership, we'll find that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Happy birthday to the PTA. I now invite Mr. Fiore to make the next wish. Good evening. Congratulations to all of tonight's Founders Day 2021 award recipients. In the darkest of times when nothing seems to be going right, there comes a rainbow to symbolize the happiness and hope that lie ahead. My wish is for the health and safety of our school community so we can resume the meaningful relationships that we are so accustomed to fostering and that allow us to grow together somewhere over the rainbow. Lastly, I'd like to throw it to Mr. Riccobono to join us and make the final wish. May you continue to guide, strengthen, love, and inspire others to make a difference in the life of a child by sharing your knowledge, heart, and courage. Happy 124th birthday, PTA. Thank you for participating in our candle lighting ceremony. Gabriella will now sing happy birthday to the PTA. I invite our principals and presidents to virtually blow out the candles while you make a secret wish. Hi, Franklin Square. My name is Gabriella, and I'm going to be singing happy birthday to our amazing PTA. Feel free to join me. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to the PTA. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, everyone. At this point, I would like to turn the evening back over to our Founders Day host, Kim Gaudiosi. I would like to welcome Joanne Schwartz, Interschool President, to begin our award ceremony with a special acknowledgement. 
Hi, I'm Joanne Schwartz, president of the Franklin Square Interschool Council of PTAs. The PTAs of the schools within the Franklin Square community would like to send our support to families who are affected by the coronavirus. We want to especially extend our condolences to both the Lewinger and Greenfield families. Joe Lewinger was a member of the Washington Street family. He was an educator at Mary Lewis Academy in Queens, and he volunteered his time by being a member of the Franklin Square's Board of Education. He gave to our community, and we all appreciate his efforts. Pam Greenfield was also a member of our community and an integral part of the Franklin Square School District by being the head of transportation, where her smile and kindness were always present. Both families are in our thoughts. The first award of the evening is presented by the Franklin Square Interschool. The committee met this year and felt in lieu of recognizing just one person who influenced our community and children, we decided to acknowledge all who helped keep our schools move forward for our students. We want to thank all members of the Franklin Square and Sawanica school districts, starting with the Board of Education, who make sure we are blessed with the greatest administration and staff. To all the administrators who together make sure they stay informed of the state, county, and CDC guidelines to ensure the students will be safe while receiving the best education. I'm sure they have been on call 24 seven for the past year and for that we are appreciative. To the teachers, teachers aides, whether in person or virtual, who have had to be creative to keep the students interested and attentive. To the clerical staff, IT department, transportation department, cafeteria staff, health office, custodial staff, guidance and security. How would the schools function without you? You make sure all the day-to-day -day operations are performed. You are the bones of the system. Every single person involved with keeping our schools open and safe. We say thank you. Please know how much we appreciate all your efforts and hard work. Sandy Corsetti will now announce the Interschool SEPTA Award. It is with absolute pleasure to award Ms. Gallo with the Catherine Wright Award. I have personally had the pleasure of working with Ms. Gallo, both as a parent of one of her students, as well as her volunteering to help in our SEPTA sensory rooms. She is always eager to assist in any capacity that she can. Ms. Gallo finds a way to connect with her students that is organic and genuine. Her students leave her excited and energized. As a teacher, she is a guide and a compass. She shows her students the path to success and walks beside them. She is generous with her time and her support. She provides them with the tools to help motivate them to do their very best. Even in the most challenging of situations, she is able to turn the student and the situation around. Ms. Gallo truly goes above and beyond with her students. A good teacher can inspire hope, ignite the imagination and instill the love of learning. Ms. Gallo provides all three to her students. Technology will keep evolving, but nothing can replace the power of a teacher's inspirational words. There is nothing more satisfying for a parent than knowing their child is being given the same amount of love and care as at home. I now invite Kristen Cerati and Christy Born Jamie to give out their awards on behalf of the Polk Street PTA. Good evening. It is our honor to present the Polk Street School PTA Founders Day Awards for 2021. Our first award is our H. Frank Carey Award. Our H. Frank Carey Award goes to recipients for their dedication to our school and our PTA. Our first recipient supports our students daily, both inside and outside the classroom. Her smiling face can be seen throughout the halls during the day and at our events after hours and weekends. Her support as a teacher is both necessary and appreciated for us to succeed as a PTA. She lays the foundation for our youngest students using, the, using an enormous amount of patience and love. 
Her focus is, is to strengthen their intellect and as well as having fun. It is with great pleasure to present our H. Frank Carey Award to Ms. Christina Mateo. The ne this next award recipient has been long overdue. This individual has been a shining light at Polk Street for both students and their parents. Her smile her, and her voluble serve has been a long-standing staple. Her patience, love for children, and focus on development has left a mark on our school community. With constant repetition, focus, love, and attention, she has helped many students progress socially, mentally, and academically. Her students have been known to look for her in the crowded hallways. It is with great honor to present Ms. Michelle Hegarty with an H. Frank Carey Award. <laughs> Our next award goes to the entire PSS custodial, custodial staff. We have always known what an asset our custodial staff has been behind the scenes to the school community and its sustainability. But this year especially, they have went above and beyond any and all expectations for our children and their health and safety. Our custodial staff has proven just how paramount and fundamental they are to Polk Street School. During the start of the pandemic, our custodial staff worked around the clock cleaning, disinfecting, and sterilizing our schools so it could be safe for our children. They worked all summer in conjunction with the administration, sanitizing the entire school, rearranging furniture, and planning the safest way to have our children back at school in September. And still today, they work hard to keep our children safe in school throughout the day and long after they are gone. We honor them today for their effort and dedication to our children and our children's health and to Polk Street School, for all the efforts we know about and for all that have done, they have done that has been critical behind the scenes. We thank you and want you to know how valued and appreciated you are. Yay. <laughs> our next award goes to a gentleman that is well known through the halls of Polk Street. The children love to say hello with a quick high five and he can often be found giving a, wink, a wink and a bow of his head. He is a quiet but essential part of our community and his love for the sense of childhood wonder as he works to keep our school beautiful and clean. This award is presented to Mr. Edwin Malara. <laughs> our next award goes to Mrs. Colleen and the entire nursing staff. They are not only essential workers, they are our own superheroes. In the past, they have always risked their own health for the health of our children. The, they nurse term, tummy aches, head bumps, skin knees, and children not feeling well. Occasionally, they even entertain children trying to get out of a lesson or two. However, this school year has been like no other. Despite the risk of their own health, they continue to love and serve our school and our children each day. Although they still nurse the old wounds, their days now include temperature checks, checking COVID forms, and documented COVID test results. Thank you will never seem like enough for all that they do and all that they continue to do to help keep our children safe. It is with the utmost respect that we present our PSS nursing staff and Mrs. Maria Colleen with an H. Frank Carey Award. Congratulations to all the recipients for the H. Frank Carey Awards. Our next award category is the PSS PTA Distinguished Service Award. Our first recipient is a woman who is a Polk Street alumni herself and who we believe to be the future of our PTA. Her gentle way and kind spirit has guided her leadership and she has proven to always have the children's best interest at heart. No matter what the call or what is asked, she always takes on the challenge and gets it done. She has chaired many events and is creative and is always willing to lend a hand. With much thanks and appreciation, we would like to recognize her for her years of service and dedication as a volunteer of Polk Street School now. However, we are excited to see what is to come of her future as she continues to serve and grow. We are honored to present this award to Lisa Friedman. Yay! The next award recipient has been part of the Polk Street family for over nine years. She is kind, generous, and always has a smile. She is one of the first to volunteer her time, service, and knowledge and never says no, even if she has never done it before. She has shared the vision of the PCA and has always looked to inspire and do what is best for the children. 
Although it is time to say goodbye, her time with us has not gone unnoticed. We are both very thankful and appreciative for all that she has done. It is our pleasure to award Mrs. Franca Soric. Congratulations. Congratulations. Our next award category is our PSS School Service Recognition Award. Kristen and I introduce the next category in recognition of outstanding dedication and unselfish years of service to the Franklin Square School District, to, po to Polk Street, and to the children of our school community. We wanted to be sure that these recipients are not only honored for their years of service, but also for the impact they have made on their students and the school that was a home away from home for so long. For all the beautiful songs that were written and sung, for the teaching, for the teaching the teaching the children to think outside the box, for helping students to excel and progress to the next level, it is our honor to award Miss Nancy Daly, Miss Regina Stanco, Miss Martha Abiuso, and Miss Ellen Balaban. Your presence at Polk Street will always have a special place in our hearts. In addition to the award being given, the PTA will also recognize you by purchasing an individual brick to be placed in our learning center. Thank you for all of you have done. We wish you luck on your next chapter. Congratulations. We miss you. Our next award is the Community Business Recognition Award. Our first business recipient has been an intricate part of our behind the scenes in making Polk Street School come alive. We have depended heavily on the UPS store for all of our printing needs. Whether it was signs, banners, newsletters, postcards, envelopes, or pictures, they could do it all. As a UPS store employee, our award winner had already been accustomed to serving her customers with the utmost satisfaction. Trisha, however, took it one step further. She has gone above and beyond by adding her attention to detail, knowledge of graphic design, and computer literacy to each order. Each order exceeded all of our expectations, and they always got done. If there was an idea, she helped to create it with her team and bring it to life. This past June, as we were searching for a way to acknowledge our outgoing sixth grade class, the UPS store and Trisha designed our beautiful sixth grade lawn signs for the entire district, all in an outstanding turnaround time. We cannot thank the UPS store or Trisha enough for the, what they have done in the past and look forward to many more projects in the future. It is our pleasure to, pleasure to honor Mrs. Trisha Valley and the UPS store. Thank you. Thanks, we wish we could give this next award recipient a, with a big hug. Although our next recipient's children are now Polk Street alumni, he continues to dedicate his time and services as a business to Polk Street and our children. In the past, he could be seen working the DJ booth at the winter ball, a fall festival, a silly sports night, or a sixth grade dance, usually with his family in tow. Lately, though, he has been spotted at our annual field day. Long after his children have graduated, he continues to take a day off from his full-time job to give to our children. He always has the children laughing and knows exactly what song to play to have them dancing. His smile, attention to detail, impeccable service, and love for children and just making them happy is recognized today both individually and as a business. It is with great pleasure that we present Armando Paz and the entire Paz production team today. We thank you for all that you have done and look forward to many collaborations in the future. Congratulations. Yay. <laughs> our next award is the Star Award. The next two recipients have rose to the description of our Star Award. Despite their personal obstacles, they have always gone above and beyond for the Polk Street PTA. A dynamic mother and daughter duo. Maria is one of the hardest working women we know and her daughter Marina is not far from her footsteps. Maria is organized and efficient and always comes to the table with great ideas. She has been a constant contributor and asset to the PTA and recently has raised her own bar by taking PTA fundraising to a higher level. Four years ago, her youngest daughter Marina was diagnosed with type one diabetes. Although we cannot imagine what fear and obstacles both Marina and Maria and their entire family faced, they both showed true courage and strength. Maria fought hard to get Marina the assistance she needed in school, and Marina fought harder to lead her life as she had before the diagnosis. Their love for Polk Street has never wavered. As Maria continued 
through it all to volunteer, and Marina continued to participate in all school events and contests, such as Reflections. Marina, sorry, and Reflections. Maria shines in the time of darkness, and today brings awareness to her entire Polk Street community on diabetes. She is humble and talented and kind. This duo have exhibited true love for our Polk Street family, despite their own challenges in their personal life. We are both grateful for all the contributions to the PTA, both as a parent and a student, for we are in awe, we are in awe in all that they have overcame in their everyday life. It is with great honor that we present Maria and Marina Glaviano, the Star Award. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry. <sighs> okay. Our last award recipient is one, oh gosh, I have to get through this. It's one that embodies all the traditions and values that Polk Street PTA upholds. Not only as a parent, but as a teacher as well. In the past, this award winner was a Polk Street, Polk Street teacher. She welcomes students into her classroom and into her life with open arms and love. She laid an academic foundation and the love of learning. During that time, she also became a Polk Street, Polk Street School parent and then a grade rep. She has self, self, selflessly dedicated her time and service, both as a teacher and a parent. Her dual understanding of both sides has always made a recipe for greatness. Level-headed, calm, understanding, kind, patient, generous, and overall love for not only children, but for people has made her an outstanding leader and a PTA volunteer. Innovative, creative, and always willing to lend a hand despite obstacles in her own life. Has earned her respect and love both at Polk Street and in the, the Franklin Square School District. Although we are sad to say goodbye, we know that sorry, we know that she will never be too far away and wish her and her family only the best that life has to offer in the next chapter. It is with great honor to award Miss Allison Bochel for the Mr. the Mr. Riccobono Award. Oh, and I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> Oh my that God. concludes our Polk Street 2021 Founders Day Award Ceremony. We invite Shannon and Melissa to give out their awards on behalf of the Washington Street School PTA. Thank you. Thank you. Stay safe, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Christy and Kristen. Hello, everyone. Our first award is the Betty D'Onofrio Award, which is being given to Pamela Janax. Pam has been a member of the PTA for 10 years. She has chaired box tops and plant sale has been a room rep multiple times and has served as our treasurer for the past three years. Pam has also volunteered at many of our events. Her accessibility, attention to detail, and easygoing attitude has been wonderful to work with. Shannon and I never had anything to worry about as long as Pam was on it and her Yuma could always be counted on. She will be missed at Washington Street School. Congratulations, Pam. Our next award is the Vivian Eng Award, which is being given to our Washington Street School teachers. This is a poem from Dr. Seuss. I will teach you in a room. I will teach you now through Zoom. I will teach you in your house. I will teach you with a mouse. I will teach you here or there. I will teach you because I care. This poem cannot be more true. Our teachers at Washington Street go above and beyond for our children, but nothing can compare for what they have done and continue to do during this pandemic. Their love for education and our children to find and create new ways to inspire and teach is beyond amazing. We as parents could never thank you enough. Congratulations to all our Washington Street School teachers. Our next award is the Dorothea Freyfogel Award, which is being given to Raffaella Flaherty. Raffaella has been an active member of our PTA for the past nine years. During this time, she has chaired the book fair, Harlem Magic, bowling, and created a very popular ghostly gala. She has been a room rep and volunteered at many of our events. Her love for her children and the school always shine through in all she was involved in. 
We can always count on her to ask us a million questions just to drive us crazy, but we wouldn't have it any other way. Raffaella's support and dedication as a parent of the PTA will be missed as her family is moving on to Cary High School. Congratulations, Raffaella. Our next award is the H. Frank Carey Award, which is being given to Michelle Schneider. Michelle has been a part of our Washington Street School family for the past 17 years. She is a past president, held numerous positions on the executive committee, has shared school photos, holiday fair, and full fundraiser, just to name a few, and has also been a room rep. Michelle was also our high school liaison. Her insight and support to us these past three years have been invaluable. Michelle's dedication all these years to our PTA is going to be missed by all that have had the pleasure to know and work with her. Congratulations, Michelle. Our next award are our Certificate of Appreciation. First two certificates are given to Ms. Stella and Ms. Gabo. Ms. Stella's dedication, passion, and leadership to the Washington Street School community is like no other. He is easy to approach and always ready to do what is in the best interest of the students and his staff. His open door policy is what makes the school feel like a home. With all the challenges this past year has brought, whether it was meeting in his office or walking a mile around Carrie's track, he always made the time to meet or talk to us about any concerns or ideas we have as a PTA. Since the pandemic started, Mr. Stella always included his famous dad jokes in his weekly emails, and this tradition has continued into the school every Friday during morning announcements. Whether it is his not so funny dad jokes, his love of food, or his love of the wild, wild west, you can always count on him to put a smile on your face. Yeehaw! Congratulations, Mr. Stella. Mr. Gabo is a role model to the students and staff as he is always both welcoming and respectful. When approached with questions or concerns, he truly listens and always tries to find a solution. Since he has been here at Washington Street, he created a gentleman in training program for the fifth and sixth grade boys. Mr. Gabo goes above and beyond to help the PTA in any way he can, no matter how busy he may be. Whether it's carrying boxes down in his suit to the PTA room or sending out millions of emails on our behalf, he does it all with a warm smile and an encouraging word. Congratulations, Mr. Stella and Mr. Gabo on your award. It has been an honor and a pleasure these past three years to work with you both. We will truly miss our daily meetings, phone calls, and texts. I now pass it over to my co-president, Shannon Parada, who will continue with our awards. Thank you, Melissa. Our next Certificate of Appreciation Award goes to the Washington Street School Nurses, Jeannie Reifler and Marie Russo. Jeannie has been a nurse for 32 years, with 11 of those being at Washington Street. Marie's nursing career spans 30 years, with four of them being with the district. Whether they are putting on a band-aid for a paper cut or trying to cure a bellyache, their passion goes above and beyond. Their comforting voice and advice are not only to our children, but to us parents as well. This cannot be more truer than this past year. Jeannie and Marie's dedication to ensure our children are healthy and safe cannot be more appreciated. Thank you for all you do and congratulations on your award. Our next award is the Washington Street School PTA Award, which is being awarded to Bridget Stavola. Bridget has been a valued member of the PTA for nine years. She is currently our sixth grade rep and has run many events as grade rep, like blood drive, staff recognition luncheon, and bake sale. Bridget also was a second VP chaired field day and career day, and has volunteered at many of our events. She is always offering a helping hand. Bridget has a bright outlook on things and always turns a negative into a positive. She will be missed at Washington Street School as her family is moving on to carry. Congratulations again, Bridget, on your award. Our next award is the Lucy Powers Award, which is being awarded to Mrs. Jennifer Dowd. Mrs. Dowd is kind and compassionate. She looks for new ways to reach her students 
and educate them to the best of her ability. She has been a part of the district for 24 years, most of them with Washington Street. Mrs. Dowd always thinks of her students first. Her positive outlook inspires her students as well as her colleagues. Mrs. Dowd always has a bright smile and a kind word to say. We are very lucky to have a passionate educator like her in our district. Congratulations, Mrs. Dowd, on your award. Our next award is the Kathy Lewandowski Award, which is going to Melissa Veruzzi. Melissa has been a very active member of our PTA for 13 years. She has been a delegate, chaired nominating committee, coupon book, and holiday fair, was our high school liaison, been a room rep, but most importantly, she has been co-president with me for the past three years. Melissa is kind and supportive, thoughtful to everyone around her, and willing to go out of her way to lend a helping hand. She always has a smile on her face and makes you feel welcome. Melissa's love for her children and Washington Street School shines through every day to make sure the kids get the best the PTA can offer. I am lucky to have shared this presidency with her and know that she'll be greatly missed at Washington Street School. Cab's here! Congratulations, Melissa, on your award. I will now hand it over to Mr. Stella to present our last Washington Street School Award. Good evening. Elizabeth Andrews once said, volunteers do not necessarily have the time, but they certainly have the heart. Mrs. Parada and Mrs. Veruzzi, words cannot measure the size of your hearts and the impact of your actions. On behalf of the parents, teachers and staff, and most importantly, the children of Washington Street School, I would like to let you know that we are all eternally grateful for the dedication and commitment the two of you have provided over the last three years as PTA co-presidents. Whether it was late night runs for supplies, early morning wake up calls for decorations, midday text messages, or dressing up like Maggie Moo, all of our PTA hosted events were truly entertaining, well organized, and never disappointed. Of course, I wanna thank your families as well because I know how precious time can be with three kids and a packed calendar. Mr. Prada, James, Fiona, and Gabriella, Mr. Veruzzi, Juliana, Alessandra, and Daniela, they made it. So with your newly acquired free time, I composed a list of the top three things Mrs. Veruzzi can now drag Mrs. Parada along to do. Number three, take a trip to the Jersey Shore. Yeah, buddy. Number two, get your nails done at Salon Martone and the family of Unpolished. And number one, spend some quality shopping time with Foxy Grandma. I love you guys. I'll miss you. And I'll see you again. Thank you. I now invite Joanne Schwartz and Teresa O'Day to announce the awards on behalf of the H. Frank Carey PTSA. The Joanne Bergbaum Award is given to someone who gives themselves to our students, who supports the PTSA and is always available whenever a helping hand is needed. This year's recipient has been a teacher, a class advisor, and now an administrator. He does whatever is necessary to get things done and has been an integral part of this year's seventh grade transition. It is with great pleasure that we present this year's Joanne Bergbaum Award to Mr. Christopher Carmody. The John Randazzo Community Service Award is given in honor of John Randazzo to recognize service and volunteerism in our community. This year's recipients made every effort to bring some happiness to the class of 2020. Their motto of making lemonade out of lemons proved true with a wonderful community supported lemonade parade. There is nothing they would not do to bring happiness to our Cary kids. This year's John Randazzo Community Service Award is presented to the Carrie Dads Club. The Michael Massimino Award is given to two students who exhibit the same reach for the stars characteristic of this extraordinary former student of Carrie. Our first recipient is caring, smart, and generous. She received her Girl Scout Silver Award during the pandemic quarantine. She was ambassador for the virtual walkathon 
for Tourette's syndrome. She is the president of the National Honor Society and vice president of the World Language Honor Society. She volunteers with the PALS program at Cary and wants to pursue a career in speech pathology. Our first recipient is Emily Blackberg. Our second recipient is a smart and goal-oriented student. He is a member of FBLA and is currently the chief sales officer in the virtual enterprise class. He volunteers to tutor other Cary students and assists at religious education classes at St. Catharines. He is a National Honor Society ambassador and plans to study business in college. We have a future entrepreneur here. Our second recipient is Nicholas Abruzzo. The H. Frank Cary Award is given in recognition of dedication to the children of Franklin Square. For each recipient, a donation is made to the PTSA Scholarship Fund for awards given at graduation. Our first recipient has been a strong influence in guiding our students over the past year. From transitioning from regular classes to remote learning to now a blended school day. She has been a strong part of the Cary administration and been there to support our kids. Our first recipient is Ms. Sharon Flynn. Our second recipient has been there for the senior class. She is not only an educator, but also an advisor. She is helping this year's seniors navigate their final year here at Cary. The class of 2021 thanks her for her support. Our second recipient is Ms. Lisa Costello. Our third recipient has been through a lot with our students over the past year. He has been handed the enormous task of helping our children deal with loss, isolation, and maintaining good mental health. He is in the process of helping to bring back the Big Brother Big Sister program where older students can encourage the younger ones. Our third recipient is the school social worker, Mr. Keith Lynch. Our last recipient has been a member of the Cary PTSA board. She has been our membership chair and is always available when needed. She will be graduating out this year and will be missed. We appreciate all her hard work. The final Cary Award goes to Mrs. Kathy Ferrara. The Cary PTSA would like to extend these certificates of appreciation to two very supportive departments here at Cary. During these very trying times, these staff members have been up front and center to maintain safety and guidance for our children. They have maintained a safe environment to allow our students to return to school safely. The certificates of appreciation are presented to the health office and the custodial staff at H. Frank Carey. Thank you for your behind the scenes services. The School Spirit Award is presented to a student who builds school pride and community spirit. This year's recipient has played on both the football and lacrosse teams. He is the president of the class of 2021. He can always be seen spreading kindness with his constant smile and great attitude. This year's School Spirit Award is presented to Sirwin Ramirez. The National PTA Lifetime Achievement Award is the highest honor a person can receive from the nation's largest child advocacy organization. The recipient of this award daily lives out his or her commitment to children. This year's recipient has not stopped over the past year in trying to figure out the best way for our students to achieve the highest level of education. He went above and beyond to help the students receive everything they could. He will always try to find a solution to any problem. He is available to answer any question. He does more than what is just in his job title. He treats every student like they are his own. It is with great pleasure to present the National PTA Life Achievement Award to Mr. Christopher Fury. Lastly, we invite Barbara Rolden to give out awards on behalf of the John Street School PTA. I am honored to present to you tonight the John Street School PTA Awards for Founders Day 2021. 
The first award is the Franklin Robinson Community Service Award. The recipients of this award have shown exemplary service to the Franklin Square West Hempstead community. The Franklin Robinson Community Service Award is awarded to PRA Communications Incorporated. Barbara and Angela Poleo have been actively involved in our school community throughout their 34 years living in West Hempstead. While their children attended John Street School, Barbara was a PTA member who was always volunteering for all kinds of events. And Angelo sat as the president of the Board of Education for both Franklin Square Union Free School District and the Salonica Central High School District. They have not only been generous with their time, but over the past seven years provided countless donations to the John Street School PTA to assist with many events such as movie night, the discount card sale, the coat drive, and Founders Day. A fun fact about Barbara is that she enjoys making blankets and masks that she donates to charities and the church. She spends her free time doing puzzles and Angelo plays golf every chance he gets. Thank you, PRI Communications, for your service. The Franklin Robinson Community Service is also awarded to Intuitive Consulting Group Incorporated. Nicholas Paleo has assisted the John Street School PTA with their tax preparation and submission for the past five years. He has provided us with valuable guidance throughout that time. As a John Street School and H. Frank Perry graduate, he continually seeks opportunities to give back to the community he grew up in. A fun fact about Nicholas is that he enjoys car racing. Thank you Intuitive Consulting for your service. The next award is the H. Frank Carey Award. The H. Frank Carey Award is given in recognition of the work and dedication of a member of the PTA to the children of Franklin Square. For each recipient, a donation is made to the PTSA scholarship fund which awards scholarships to seniors upon graduation. The H. Frank Carey Award is awarded to Judy Soki. Mrs. Soki is not only a valued member of our school community for the last seven years, but she is also our neighbor. She has lived in the community for 30 years. Before she started working at John Street School, her children attended school there. She was a very active member of the PTA and enjoyed every minute of it. She loves her job and working with all the children she gets to be with every day. Her dedication and generosity for the children are evident in her gentleness and countless acts of kindness. Fun facts about Mrs. Soki is that she loves to go to the beach and Disney World. Most importantly, she loves spending time with her family. You will have probably seen her going on her walks around town with a family member always ready to have a quick chat or say hello with a smile and a wave. The H. Frank Carey Award is also awarded to Nicole Triolo. Mrs. Triolo has been a member of the PTA since 2008 when she started teaching in Franklin Square 12 years ago. She served on the District Wellness Committee, Character Education Committee, and the School Spirit Committee as well. Mrs. Triolo has participated in events such as Toys for Tots and Boosterathon. She also has donated various baskets and prizes to support the PTA fundraising efforts at the Carnival and Holiday Brunch. She encourages her students to participate in reflections and attends the award ceremony to cheer them on. I've also seen her at parent-teacher volleyball games and installation dinners. Most importantly, Mrs. Triolo has shown extraordinary dedication to her students throughout all her time at John Street School. Last year, when the district moved to remote learning, she was able to maintain that special connection with each and every one of them. She kept them engaged, motivated, and ensured each individual student received the time and attention they needed. A fun fact about Mrs. Triolo is that she graduated from John Street School and H. Frank Carey. Congratulations, Mrs. Soki and Mrs. Triolo, and thank you for your dedication to the children of Franklin Square. The next award is the Randy Brandon Memorial Award. The recipients of this award are PTA members in good standing for at least four years who has been the chairperson for PTA sponsored activity and has shown outstanding service to this PTA unit. The Randy Brandon Memorial Award is awarded to Joanna Ng. 
Joanna is a valued member of the John Street School PTA who is always reliable and can be called upon to help whenever is needed. She is the chairperson for Picture Day, class parent, and the recording secretary of the executive board. She has volunteered for the book fair, pumpkin patch, spooky dance, boutique sales, and sweetheart dance. Fun facts about Joanna is that she enjoys baking and crafting in her spare time, loves to binge watch Cantonese drama shows, and her first flight on an airplane was at the age of 21. The Randy Brandon Memorial Award is also awarded to Kimberly Altara. Kimberly's contributions to the JSSPTA are always brought in with her incredible ideas, energy, and enthusiasm. She is the chairperson for Picture Day, a class parent, and a grade rep. She is also the historian on our executive board. She has volunteered for the book fair, pumpkin patch, holiday brunch, boutique sales, booster thon, and pretty much comes to any weekday event that we have. Fun facts about Kim is that she's going to school towards a master's degree in nursing education. She loves the beach and going on adventures with her family. She also loves crafting and believes there's never too many sparkles and rhinestones. Congratulations, Joanna and Kimberly, and thank you for your outstanding service to the John Street School PTA. The next award is the John Street School Service Award. The John Street School Service Award is given to those special individuals who constantly support the needs of the PTA. They are members who work behind the scenes and without them, the PTA would not run as smoothly or effectively. The John Street School Service Award is awarded to the John Street School Cafeteria staff, Nina Karachi, Teresa Perchabali, Carmen Pasaka. These three ladies are proof that not all superheroes wear a cape. Faced with several changes to what the new school year would bring, the JSS kitchen staff rose to the occasion. Adapting to a new lunch ordering app, having less kitchen staff working, and tasked with creating and delivering 350 grab-and-go lunches every day. Teresa, Nina, and Carmen have truly saved the day. It gives me great pleasure to recognize these superwomen of the John Street School Kitchen staff by presenting them with this John Street School Service Award. Congratulations to Teresa, Nina, and Carmen. We thank you for everything you do in making sure our children are fed each and every day. The John Street School Service Award is also awarded to Anna Reposati. Most parents meet Mrs. Reposati at either the pre-K or kindergarten or kindergarten orientation, where she provides a wealth of knowledge about the health and safety at John Street School. She knows every student in the school and cares for them all. She has supported PTA events such as the Booster Thon, Toy Drive, Holiday Sale, and Full Fundraiser. She has provided her valuable knowledge and feedback in the John Street School Safety Committee and District Reentry Planning Committee. Mrs. Rabosati has done an extraordinary job to prepare for the changes of this year. A fun fact about Mrs. Rebusardi is that she has seen a show in Broadway theater at least once in New York City. The John Tree School Service Award is also awarded to Dawn Carolla. Dawn has always preferred to support John Street School PTA from behind the scenes. Her fun fact is that she does not like being the center of attention. So this award is the perfect definition of Dawn's work as a grade rep, class parent, and volunteer. The John Street School Service Award is also awarded to Christina Milan. Christina is always offering and willing to help. She works so hard at volunteering inside and outside of the school. She's been a class mom, volunteered at the Sweetheart Dance Carnival, Pumpkin Patch, Book Fair, Science Fair, and chaired sixth grade events such as the Dance and Yearbook. Christina is also on the board of the Franklin Square Competition Cheer and does an amazing job. Her door is always open to anyone who needs help. A fun fact about Christina is that she loves to travel with her fan, friends and family. She always makes the best of every situation. The next award is the Amelia Martin Award. This recipient must be a paid PTA member in good standing for at least four years who has been a chairperson of a PTA-sponsored activity and has shown outstanding service to this PTA. 
it is given in memory of Amelia Martin, a past president of the JSSPTA. The Amelia Martin Award is awarded to Catherine Frangioni. Kathy has been a great partner this year as the grade rep for sixth grade. She is patient and thoughtful. Kathy has helped the PTA make the most of what we are able to do so that the sixth graders can still have a memorable year. She also ran the fifth grade blood drive last year and co-chaired the holiday sale. A fun fact about Kathy is that she is a Girl Scout leader for two troops since 2012. Congratulations, Catherine, and thank you for your outstanding service to the John Street School PTA. The next award is the New York State PTA Honorary Lifetime Membership Award, the Jenkins Memorial Award. The purpose of this award is to recognize individuals for their contributions to the welfare of children and youth. A PTA unit may award an honorary life membership to an individual as recognition of distinguished service to the children and youth. The New York State PTA Honorary Lifetime Membership Award is awarded to Melanie Raz. Melanie's long-standing service and contributions to the John Street School children and PTA is a true reflection of who she is, genuine and sincere. She served several roles on the executive board for the past five years, has been a class mom twice, chaired spirit wear for four years, and the carnival for three years. She's volunteered for other functions throughout the years and has always helped our fundraising by donating beauty baskets for the raffles. Melanie is also currently the president of the Franklin Square Warriors Cheer. A fun fact about Melanie that not many people know is that she's a nail technician. The New York State PTA Honorary Lifetime Membership Award is also awarded to Deborah Perlowitz. Debbie has been a parent of John Street School and a PTA member for 25 years. She is always raising her hand to help out no matter what's needed. Her willingness and generosity are something we all admire. She has even learned technology for the PTA. Debbie has held executive board positions as third VP for membership, corresponding secretary, and SEC delegate. She has volunteered for basically every event we've ever had and shared box tops for many years, the fall fundraiser and square one spring fundraiser. Fun facts about Debbie is that she loves dogs, Donald Duck, Disney and the Mets. One of her favorite memories was being part of a family bowling league at Sandy Lanes. Congratulations, Melanie and Deborah, and thank you for your distinguished service to the John Street School PTA. The next award is the Janice Oko Award. Janice Oko was a dedicated teacher at John Street School who succeeded in meeting the individual needs of every learner. This award was established to honor the difference that Janice made for each and every student in her classroom. The recipient of this award must be a paid PTA member who is a teacher and has been working at John Street School for a minimum of five years. He or she must be an involved member of our school community. The Janice Oko Award is awarded to Janine Harrigan. This is Janine Harrigan's 28th year in the Franklin Square School District. Mrs. Harrigan has taught in all three buildings but most of her years have been at John Street School. Throughout her years with the district, she has taught every grade level with the exception of kindergarten. She has been part of many activities such as sixth grade events, Beautiful Me, and the Student Writing Club. Mrs. Harrigan recently shared with me that Janice Oko was a good friend of hers and how honored she is to have received this award in her friend's name. She explained to me how she saw firsthand how Mrs. Oko put her students first, had a great sense of humor, and her work ethic was second only to her love and commitment to her family. What Mrs. Harrigan didn't realize is that is exactly how we all see her. And that is why she is so incredibly deserving of this award. A fun fact about Mrs. Harrigan is that she won the Carvel Little Miss Half Pint Pageant when she was six years old, and she still loves ice cream. Congratulations, Mrs. Harrigan, and thank you for your dedication. I now invite Mr. Riccobono to present the last John Street School Award. The National PTA Life Achievement Award is the highest honor from the nation's largest child advocacy organization. It is given to the person who goes above and beyond for all children, 
the one who acts as a tireless advocate for children's education, health, and well-being. It is my pleasure to present this year's National PTA Life Achievement Award to Mrs. Barbara Roldan. Thank you, Barbara, for your dedication and devoted service to the students, teachers, staff, and John Street School PTA over these past seven years. As coordinator of our Spooky Dance, Co-Drive, and Boost-a-thon fundraiser, for your leadership as our PTA president these past two years, for your participation as a member of the district's reentry committee, your initiative to install water bottle stations around our school for safer drinking, and your courage to try new things for our students and families to enjoy. Congratulations on your well-deserved award. Thank you again for supporting our PTAs in Franklin Square by attending tonight's event. Have a good evening. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby.